What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmies and welcome back to this series on Python. In this video, we will learn about the range function which creates a sequence of numbers. It is commonly used in for loops to run the loop a certain number of times. Let's get started. Suppose we want a sequence of numbers from 1 to 10. To get this sequence, we can use the range function like this. So I can say result equals range 1, 11. Here the start of the sequence is inclusive but the end is exclusive. That's why it gives us a sequence from 1 up to 10 and not 1 up to 11. Let me print the result. So I'll say print result and when I press run, Instead of getting the result, the sequence 1 to 10, I get range 1, 11, which is basically the same thing I've typed here. So what's happening? Well, the range function returns a range object, which is a sequence of characters. We can see what's inside this object by converting it to a, some other type like a list. So here I'll convert the result to a list like this by using the list function. And now when I press run, then I get the sequence I was asking for that is 1 to 10. One thing to notice here is that by default, the step between the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and up to 10 is 1. We can change this step as you will see later in this video. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. Since range generates a sequence of numbers, it is commonly used in for loops to iterate the loop a certain number of times. Let me give you an example. So here, I'll remove this old code and I'll say for value in range 1 comma 6 and then I'll say print value iteration. Here this range gives us a sequence from 1 which is included to 5 because 6 is not included. Now when I press run then it says 1 iteration, 2 iteration, it goes up to 5. As we can see the loop iterates 5 times from value equal to 1 to value equals 5. In our examples up to now, we have passed two parameters to the range function. Start, which is the start of the sequence and stop at which the sequence stops. It's also possible to use range without passing the start parameter. If the start parameter is not passed, zero is used as the default value. Let me give you an example. So here I'll say result equals range 11 and then I'll say print list result now when i press run then it gives me a value from 0 to 10 because it's the same as saying give me a range from 0 to 11 and when i press run it essentially gives me the same result this makes it even easier to use range function in a for loop suppose i want to iterate a loop five times i can simply pass five to the range function like this so i'll remove this old code and i'll say for value in range 5 and print value. This loop iterates 5 times from the value 0 to the value equals 4. When I press run, then you can see it says 0 to 4. If you have noticed in our examples, the gap between two consecutive numbers is 1. Let me show you again. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say result equals list range 1 11 and when I print this as expected it says 1 to 10 as we can see the difference between the numbers is 1 this is because by default step of 1 is used this code is equivalent to adding 1 as the third parameter which is the step that we want to use this range function basically means start from this number 
go up to this number not including it and use 1 as the stepping number. Let me change the step to 3 and see what happens. So here I'll replace this one with 3 and when I press run, then this time the difference between two consecutive items of this sequence is 3. We can also use negative numbers in the range function like this. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say result equals list range 5 to minus 6 and the step will be minus 1. Now when I print the result and press run then you can see that it started from the number 5 it went up to minus 6 but not including minus 6 and the difference between two consecutive list items is minus 1. By the way range only works for integers we cannot use floating point numbers inside the range function. At this point, we have covered all the basics of Python's range function. Before we end this video, here's a task for you. Can you create a list like this using the range function? I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause the video here. As always, you'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. I'll also include this link in the description below. Now here's a recap of what we learned in this video. The range type is used to create a sequence of numbers. Range is commonly used in for loops to iterate the loop a certain number of times. We cannot use floating point numbers inside range. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you're just watching the video without writing any code, I highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own. The only way you can be a good programmer is by trying. By the way, you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub. I've provided the link in the description below. Feel free to copy the program and edit them as you please. And if you have any questions and feedback, use the comment section below. In the next video, we will learn about object-oriented programming in Python. Join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together. If you like this video, hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.